In the previous part, we have segmented our aorta along with a bunch of other stuff that we are not interested in. In this part, we will look into refining tools and more advanced segmenting algorithms that are available in 3D Slicer. Right now, I'm going to utilize a 3D view. Uh, you can notice that we still have this big 3D layer in the upper right corner that we are not using. And you can ask, well, why can't we see our segmentation? Well, let's do that right now. On the left-hand side of our screen, you'll see the Show 3D button. When you click it, it will render the 3D model based on the segmentation layer that we did before. A little warning. Activating the Show 3D will use a lot of resources on your computer, and rendering the image can take a long time, especially when you're dealing with studies with large number of slices. Also, editing the segmentation layer uh, will make the algorithm to re-render your 3D model. So uh, try to keep the Show 3D button usage to uh, as rarely as possible to speed up your segmentation process. It's good to uh, preview what you're working on, but try not to use it all the time. Uh, another warning and important message is after you click it, you might think that, well, I don't see anything in, the, in, in there. This is because some of the studies will not be centered in our 3D view. This is why you have to click this little button on the top of our 3D view section, which says center the 3D view on the scene. After clicking it, it will center your 3D model. This is the our segmented layer, which uh, looks pretty good, except for all the stuff that we are not interested in. And you could remove all the bones layer by, by layer by using your Erase button. You could click Erase and you can just remove the layer. But that would be not worth of your time since there are 900 layers in this study. This is why we have a tool called Scissors. Scissors is used mostly in the 3D view. How it works, uh, I guess, is the best way to just show it. You click scissors, you choose the option that you're interested in. For me, it's going to be erase inside. And it means erase inside everything that is inside the area that I drew on 3D view. After you click it, it will process this information for, again, a few seconds, up to a minute, depending on uh, what computer you're working with and how big the data is, but you'll see that it will automatically remove the whole segmented area. Okay, well, it took it probably around 20 seconds, and uh, but we, we are moving a little forward. Let me just remove maybe one more part so we can see more clearly what we're working with. You can also use your option Erase Outside and then everything that's inside your drawn area will be preserved. So let's do a very inaccurate but, by, but quick drawing. Let me... I selected just the area that contains the aorta and everything on the outside uh, part of those ribs, part of the pelvis, should be removed. Again, let's give it a few seconds to work. It was a little quicker this time. And as you can see, a few more work moves with scissors and we could probably get our aorta. Let's get back to that in a second though. I'm going to turn off my Show 3D so it doesn't take a lot of resources of our computer. And let's create a new layer. As you can see, you can show both of them or hide them by clicking this little eye icon next to the layer name. In this case, I'm going to try to segment the, let's say, liver. Let's name this layer liver. Let's give it a nice bright 
yellow color. And in this case, I want to show you the algorithm that is called Grow From Seeds. Basically, the idea of Grow From Seeds is that you need two layers. So not just liver, but also a layer that will work as a background for this algorithm. The algorithm works in a way that you show it seeds that represent the layers. So seeds for layer called liver. I'm putting the seeds right now, every couple of slices. And it also needs seeds for the background layer. This is why we need both layers. So the idea is to mark by just a few strokes of the paintbrush where is the outside and where is the inside of our area of interest. This is why I have to mark, not very accurately, this is why it's called seats, but you have to mark where is the liver and where is the outside. And you'll see again that this works great for the areas that would not be able to threshold. The intensity here is not really good for that, which is why I'm using grow from seats. Let's put in a few more seats. Here's the liver, here's the background. And let's put another background layer. You can also do that, of course, on the other planes. This is background. This is liver, liver, background. Very sparse and uh, not accurate marks. You click initialize, and again, as 3D Slicer usually works, it will take it a couple of seconds up to a minute to calculate the preview of a result. And you'll see that the result should be satisfactory and uh, it also will allow us to refine the results as you'll see in just a second. Okay, this is a preview. Uh, it took a long time, so uh, I'm not cutting this part so you can know that. Mm, don't be afraid that the slicer is hanging on you. It's just processing not super quickly. But again, there is no software that will do it quicker than 3D Slicer, so don't worry about it. Uh, right now, still, this is a preview of a mask, but as you can see, it grew our, our seeds and marked the background and the liver area pretty well. There are still some areas that I would like to remove from the liver and to add. Let's say, let's say I don't want the gallbladder to be included into my liver layer. So what I can do right now is I can draw either liver or background seeds and add them into the preview. This will recalculate your layers of liver and the background and it will do it relatively quickly. It will not take another two minutes for it to compute. You see it also only took it let's say four or five seconds to recalculate and it updated your layers based on the new seeds that you added. You refine it a little bit and as you can see now it removed the gallbladder almost entirely and this area I'm pretty satisfied with. And again, let's say I want to add a little liver 
uh, to the layer here. I just make one click, add it to the layer, it's updated. I want to remove this little part, so again, adding just a little seal, maybe a little too much, and it's going to update in just a few seconds. So you can work on refining your uh, refining your segmentation layers. Don't be afraid to refine. I usually spend a couple of minutes, up to 10 minutes on refining my seeds. And then uh, I just accept it. So you go to grow from seeds and apply and you get your liver layer. And again, you can click show 3D. Let's see how this layer looks in 3D space and we'll show it uh, and show it with the aorta as well. This is our liver in 3D space. Uh, it's not very, uh, it's not very smooth. Uh, right here, it's along the aorta, so you already have two structures segmented. There is a very nice tool called smoothing. It has multiple options. I'm not going to get into that. Maybe in the one of the next parts of this tutorial, which will allow you to smooth this not good looking parts of the liver. Uh, we'll get back to that.